Hello and welcome. I'm Esther from NetGate. Today, I'll walk you through the process of launching PFSense Plus software directly from the AWS Marketplace. First, a quick introduction. PFSense Plus is the world's leading firewall, router, and VPN solution for network edge and cloud secure networking. With millions of installations worldwide, PFSense Plus protects homes, businesses, governments, and educational institutions with professional-grade security at a fraction of the cost of traditional solutions. Whether you're looking to secure your cloud infrastructure or implement a VPN solution, PFSense Plus on AWS provides a flexible, powerful solution with no artificial throughput limits or feature licensing tiers. Let's get started. Before we begin, you'll need a few prerequisites. An AWS account, a VPC, a subnet and security group with at least HTTPS and SSH allowed, and an EC2 key pair in the region where you'll deploy PFSense Plus. Now let's launch PFSense Plus from the AWS Marketplace. First, log into your AWS account. Go to the AWS Marketplace and find the product using the search bar. Click the link to go to the PFSense Marketplace page. Click Accept Terms to subscribe to PFSense Plus on an hourly or one-year basis. The options for a one-year subscription will show up after you click Accept Terms. If you would like to subscribe to a three-year plan, you can contact NetGate for a private offer. Click Continue to Configuration. Select the version and region you want to launch your PFSense instance in. Click Continue to Launch. From here, you can choose to launch via the Marketplace website or through the EC2 service. We will continue via the Marketplace website for now. Select your instance type, VPC, subnet, security group, and key pair. The default instance type is an M6i large, the smallest of the M6i instance family, which supports up to 12.5 gigabits per second of network throughput. If you're expecting high utilization for this instance, you should consider increasing the size to an M6i instance with more CPUs and RAM. For this demonstration, we'll select a T3 medium instance type. We're doing this specifically for demonstration purposes because the T3 family of instances are burstable, meaning they utilize a CPU credit system and are not designed for sustained high CPU use cases. During extended high CPU usage, these instance types can be throttled by AWS. Click Launch. We can now switch to the EC2 console to see that the instance is launched. Since we launched this instance via the Marketplace and not the EC2 console, we did not have the opportunity to set the admin account password via user data per NetGate documentation. Therefore, a random password has been generated. To find that password, we need to view the system log. Select the EC2 instance. Select the Actions drop-down menu. Select Monitor and Troubleshoot. Then get System Log. The password will be displayed at the top of the log. Connecting to your EC2 instance will depend on your VPC configuration. If you've used the default VPC as we have here, you will see that there is a public IP automatically assigned. If your configuration is different, you may need to use a VPN or be on a corporate network in order to access EC2 instances within your environment. You should now be able to connect to your PFSense Plus instance using HTTPS, and either the public IP address assigned to the instance or the private IP address which you have network connectivity to. You will likely see a certificate error on your first connection warning you that the TLS certificate is invalid. This is expected. You can click Advanced, then proceed to the site, depending on your browser. You can now log in to PFSense Plus using the user admin and the password found in the system log. Once you have connected using the randomly generated password, it is highly advised that you change it. From here, you can walk through the PFSense Plus setup wizard and build your configuration however you like. 
Congratulations! You've successfully launched PFSense Plus on AWS. You now have access to a full-featured, high-performance security gateway in the cloud. For more information, check out our documentation at docs.netgate.com or reach out to our Technical Assistance Center if you need additional guidance. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful.